What's poppin' dogs? Mr. Allen here. We're about to solve these two triangles for X and Y. We got our special right triangles here. We have a 45, 45, 90, right? 180 degrees in a triangle. Boom, I can get that other angle. So in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, my legs are congruent. They're the same measure. So easy money right there. You know what I'm saying? All right, now for my hypotenuse. It is root two times larger than the legs. So all this is gonna be is four times root two, which I can just leave as four root two. First triangle done. That's dope. Next one. This is a 30 what 90? A 30 60 90 triangle, right? 180 degrees in that triangle. All right. I've got my short side. I know that because it's across from the smallest angle, right? 30 is the smallest angle, so that's my smallest side. I know that my one across from the 60 is root 3 times larger, so we're going to have 8 times root 3 for that bad boy. And then I know that my hypotenuse is 2 times larger than my short side. What's 8 times 2? That's 16. Ooh! -hoo! We have them all. We got them all. We got them all. That's dope. I'm about to solve for x and y in this beautiful, what kind of triangle is this one? These two are the same, that's 90. So there's 90 degrees left over for these two, which means they are both 45 degrees. We have ourselves a 45, 45, 90 triangle, but it was in disguise, right? You gotta look for those things, right? Some congruent stuff, all those dope things. All right, well, I have my hypotenuse and I know to get to one of my legs, I'd have to divide by root two. So I'm gonna take 10 divided by root two. But unfortunately, you aren't able to just leave it like that. I got to rationalize, okay? So I'm going to multiply by root 2 over root 2. And now I have 10 root 2 over 2 because root 2 times root 2 is 2. Am I done? Got to simplify. 10 divided by 2 is 5 root 2. And guess what? That's going to be both my x and my y is going to equal 5 root 2 because my legs are the same. That's pretty dope. See you guys later. I'm about to solve this beautiful triangle here for X and Y. Now, what kind of triangle is this? I got a 60, I got a 90. What's left over? That's 30 right there for that bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Woo, 30, 60, 90. Well, I've got my hypotenuse. I got my hypotenuse. What can I do with that? Well, I can get my short side, which is my Y, very easily by dividing by two. This times two gives me this guy. So this divided by two gives me that guy. And what's 12 divided by two? Well, 12 divided by 2 is going to be 6. I've already got my Y. Halfway there. Halfway there, dogs. All right. Now, with my short side, with my short side there, I can multiply this bad boy by root 3. I get 6 root 3 for X. I got X. I got Y. That's what I'm talking about. We're done. I'm about to solve this wonderful triangle. What kind of triangle is this triangle? Well, we got uh, 60 and 90. So, what's left over? That's going to be 30 for this angle. Oh! baby it's a 30 60 90 triangle i'm about to solve for x and y i got my hypotenuse which i know is twice the size of my shortest leg how is this the shortest one it's across from the smallest angle it's the smallest side so i'm going to take 17 and divide it by two i can't reduce that i'm just going to leave it like that okay i know it's ugh, but hey it is what it is man all right it's 8.5 if you really want but we'll leave it as 17 over 2 now for my y well y is going to be root three times larger. So I'm gonna take that 17 over two, I'm gonna multiply by root three. We would normally see this written as 17 root three over two, but either one of those is okay. We got our Y, we got our X, that's it, and that's pretty dope. We're about to solve this dope triangle for X and Y. I got a 30 degree angle, a 90 degree angle, what's left over? 60 degrees, there's 180 degrees in that triangle. 30, 60, 90, Woo! Oh man, I'm ready. Well, I've got my, oh boy, I got the side across from the 60, man. That means that I need to divide by root three to get back to the short side, which is across from my 30. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's going to be a bit of work. All right. So I got nine divided by root three. I can't leave it like that, man. I got to rationalize. So I got to multiply by root three over root three, which gives me nine root three over three. Can I simplify my nine and my three right here? Yes, I can. I'm going to get three root three. Okay, I got the X, right? I got three, root three here. Now, easy money to get that Y, right? I'm just gonna double that. So, double that is gonna give me six, root three. Woo! Wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad. That's pretty dope. See you guys later. I'm about to solve this beautiful 30, 60, 90 triangle for X and for Y. But unfortunately, I've got the side that's across from my 60 degree angle. Oh, it's the worst one to have, man, because I got to divide this guy right here by root three to get my short side, which is across from my 30 degree angle. But hey, man, we're champs. We can handle it. I'm going to take 10. I'm going to divide it by root three. Then I got to rationalize this thing because someone said, hey, man, I can't have square roots in the denominator. I don't know who said it. I don't like the dude. Okay, but I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to follow the rules. I got 10 root 3 over 3. Can I simplify? 10 is not divisible by 3. That's it for x. I got x equals 10 root 3. Now, how am I going to get y? Well, 
I just gotta double it. If I got my short side, I double it to get my long side, right? In a 30, 60, 90. So if I multiply by two, I'm just gonna get y equals, well, what's 10 times two? That's 20, root three, still over three. That's it, bibbity boppity, we done.